Hi, it's Kate. Welcome to my channel. Sorry for background noise. It's my fireplace in a studio and it's in action because it's quite cold outside. I will be doing mixed media card. I will be doing lots of embossing and I will start with the black watercolor paper and this awesome step by Tim Holtz. I'm applying embossing ink and I will be heat embossed this image with Parisa Wow Embossing Powder. It's great powder, it's multicolored and it's really it's really nice. I will be using just one embossing powder and one uh, distress glaze later on. So as you can see, I'm I'm applying powder all over my background. I will cut ca card from from this piece of paper. I'm usually starting with bigger piece of paper and then I'm cutting it. Next step for my mixed media card is applying paste. This is paste by Ranger. I like it. It's very light. It's fast drying and it holds all powders very good. And here I'm, I'm applying Speckle Egg embossing glaze. It's really great color and it's nicely matching my background. I will heat set it so everything will be dry and I will be able to continue on working on my card. So I'm applying uh, this speckle egg uh, around all edges, but later you will see how I change my mind and I toned down again the edges with black suit. You will see it. But firstly, I apply it, then I didn't like it, and I will reapply. And because distress oxides, you can make tons of layers, nothing happens. You can change your mind in the middle of the process of making, and nothing happens. So, I'm making splatters with a speckle egg, and later I will be making splatters with uh, uh, another color. Oh, with distress uh, mica spray. And uh, later I will make uh, also spreaders with uh, yellow colors. Uh, I think uh, it's not spiced marmalade, it's the sec second one. Uh, wild honey, yes, I can see. <laughs> Sorry, there are so many distressed colors that uh, I don't know them. Uh, this is also a very nice color and it's matching all my colors, the card. Here is my changing of uh, opinion for background. I toned it down with black suit. As you can see, it very easily covers uh, my speckle egg and it looks better. But still, there are some places where I left speckle egg. Here's some background stamping. I will be do no more heat embossing a background. I will just stamp here and there. I'm cleaning the stamp in between because there is that black suit and it's transferring to my stamp and I don't want to make dirty my stamping pad. So I'm cleaning it in between. I need uh, to emboss uh, paper from which I will die cut uh, different branches. These branches is Sizzix die designed by Tim Holtz. So I applied over a piece of paper uh, embossing ink, but just here and there. I didn't want to cover everything because I will be stamped over it. And from that prepared paper, piece of paper, I will die cut my branches. It's a step, step ahead. I really like it. And uh, I cleaned a bit. Uh, of yellow from my heat embossed place just here and there so my uh, the color of this heat embossed is visible this is my focal image it's uh, stamped by tim holtz it's uh, mod and i will be heat emboss it and i will combine two embossing inks uh, the parisa which i'm using all over my card and again speckle act you can combine different uh, embossing inks it's absolutely up to you i'm usually using stamp platform and i'm stamping twice so i have nice crispy uh, image 
this watercolor paper it has got uh, a bit of structure so it's uh, it's better to make uh, stamping twice here uh, i'm applying uh, Perissa embossing powder and i will heat set it and uh, i still wasn't uh, satisfied with it so i took emboss it pen and i'm just covering a bit of some pieces of the mod I will apply again speckle act, but this is distress glaze. It will not change color so much. It will have nice shine look, I think I can say. So it's time to finish my card. I glue the panel onto the note card. I will be gluing my die cut branches. I'm using 3D dots because they are quite great and elastic and it's holding things very well. So all my branches will be glued with uh, glue dots. But the mod will be glued with uh, 3D foam. I'm just making some bouquet or cluster behind. I don't want to cover a lot from my background because I really like this background. It's really nice mixed media background. You doesn't have to make it so heavy as I have it, but uh, it's up to you. And this chipboard, it's also by Tim Holtz and I'm gluing it with, uh, again, glue dots. And this is everything. This is all for my card. At the end, you can see detailed photos. This embossing ink is really awesome. And I think it's lovely mixed media card. Thank you very much for your time. If you like my video, give me a like and subscribe. And have a nice day.